over a week since baby Charlie Dennehy was bitten multiple times by a noble false widow. As he was playing, he just started purple screaming. He was really, really upset, more upset than I've ever seen him. So I took him upstairs and I took off his trousers and immediately saw that his left leg from his knee to his ankle was a really bright red and he had three big white welts. Uh, so then I stripped off his top and as I did so, just a big um, noble false widow crawled out from behind his ear. The noble false widow is identifiable by its bulbous black belly and cream crescent on top and it looks set to become the world's most invasive species of spider. So inevitably that means more people are going to get bitten but there will be no long-term damage. Overall, when people get bitten by a noble false widow, they can expect symptoms that are similar to a wasp sting or a hornet sting. So it's not pleasant, it's very painful, and a very small proportion of people will actually develop more severe symptoms that may require a visit to the GP or to the hospital. The best thing to do is just take a covering like that and just place it right over. Get yourself a piece of paper, then with this, you can safely move it outside. Theresa Mannion, RT News, NUI Galway.